Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and good morning. It is Saturday morning. Um, it's September 14th, 15th, I think. And I am going to do something I have never done before and I thought to share the experience. You know, as crafters, you don't have to be a crafter. Well, not a paper crafter, but you could be any type of crafter or not a crafter at all. But there are some things you have in your stash that you do not want to touch. You want to keep it in pristine condition. Well, that's how I feel about my vintage paper doll collection. <laughs> but in this video, I will cut up or cut out my dolls and some clothing from one of my vintage paper dolls. And it is this one. Okay, so I fell in love with the vintage paper dolls several years ago. I don't even know how I came across this paper doll here. I was searching for something, and this populated. Now, I did not grow up playing with paper dolls, and I don't remember paper dolls. The last paper dolls I really played with were from the Cricut paper doll cartridge, right? <laughs> But paper dolls go way back. I mean, decades and decades back. So I came across this paper doll. And of course, I fell in love with it because it's from the 70s. This girl is sporting like a little afro. And I'm a 70s girl. I love the afro. So I fell in love with it. But I loved it even more because, well, I do a lot of black history research. And I look for the vintage ephemera. And a lot of what's available, it's derogatory, it's demeaning, it's all about exaggerated features, very uncomely images of African Americans. So when I came across this paper doll, I'm like, she's gorgeous. And then I did a little bit more digging and realized paper dolls, they were, they were the business back in the day. And so I became a collector primarily of the African American paper dolls. And by the way, I shared a video last year during Black History Month of some of my paper dolls. And I do have more to share. I guess I'll share that if the Lord willing, this coming up Black History Month. But I am going to or cut out these paper dolls. And you know, I'm only able to do it because I have two of these. <laughs> okay, so this one is called Little Girls Dolls to Dress and Play With. It's 1974. So this collection is dear to me. You see these three pretty girls. <laughs> and um, this book, it's in mint condition. Take a look at it a lot of different clothing and on the back these dolls they punch out which is great because you don't have to cut them out so this is my original well they're both original authentic but i had this one first and look at the how much it cost 29 cents <laughs> okay so this one went up to 39 cents both from 19 oh no this one is 1969 <laughs> Okay, so I'll keep this one and cut into the 1974. So they're both similar, except the most current cutout book, the images on the cover at least appear to be darker. So let's open it up. Sometimes you will find slight or major differences with the dolls. And I'll talk about that in another video. Okay, so let's let's get started, you guys. I'm super excited. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Make sure I have the right one, 39 cents. Okay, so it's just as easy as punching out. Well, let's see, because I've never done this before. Let's see how easy it is to punch out. And maybe I should grab something to aid me because I do not want to tear to rip any part of these dolls. They have survived all of these years 
And I tell you, once my hands touch something, it could be 100 years old, I mess it up. I'm like, how could it have survived all those years and then through shipment survive and get in your hands and then it has a rip, it has a tear. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> and sometimes the actual dolls, they're cardboard. These feel like a thicker paper. And by the way, her name is Joe. Oh my goodness, something just hit me. Oh my goodness, hold on. Oh wow, <laughs> her name is Joe. Well, Joe has a paper doll cutout book all to herself, and you're looking at it right here. It's the same girl. Okay, so that's one of those differences I was going to talk to you guys about. I did not know that this was the same girl. Okay. <laughs> So let's do a quick flip through of the clothing. Now you notice that well, each girl has a name and each girl has a color. You match up the clothes based on the color of these little tabs here. And by the way, these are stand-up dolls. So somehow I would use these pieces to stand the dolls up. Alrighty, a lot of clothing. And this is just paper. Not going to cut out everything, just a couple of these outfits. <laughs> I totally love it. Okay, so I have my first vintage cut out paper dolls. This is so fun. <laughs> now, in the video, you saw me use a tool. You could use anything you have, but sometimes these can be hard to punch out. So use something like this just to add some pressure so you can minimize tearing through your images. Alrighty, so these are the three dolls. And I cut out the images with the outfits the girls had on the cover. Okay, so this is Joel's outfit. And let's see, this is uh, um, Jill's outfit. And this one is Jane's outfit. Okay, so what you would do is pull these tabs back to position or hold the clothes in place. So I guess no glue is required and that makes sense because there's a lot of other clothes, a lot of other outfits, and you would want to easily exchange the clothes out. Now we have washi tape, so I would probably use washi tape to hold that in place, but that is how Jill looks. And then, Joe, hey, Joe, love you, girl. Um, okay, so I would have to cut out or actually punch out this little area here. Yep, punches right out. I'll do her last. Let's do Jane. Just fold the tabs back like so. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, so I'm going to add some washi tape to the back and finish punching out Joe, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'll punch out Jane's parts in real time. I'm going to use my little, what do you call this thing? I'm going to use it to put pressure on the arm 
and then just pull up the little cutout part just like so now I thought to use my brother's scan and cut <laughs> and I actually got it all prepared and then I thought no I want to do it the original way the way I would have done it if I played with paper dolls and who knows I probably did and just don't remember but we know the brother scan and cut was not back in the day alrighty so let's see and I probably okay I need to cut out this little part here as well now I was not trying to be perfect when I cut out my dolls though back in the day I'm sure the little girls were perfectionists because they probably only had the one coffee so they probably put a lot of time and care into cutting out their dolls Alrighty, do it like that. And let's turn it over like that. Fold it back. Fold this part back, that part back. Apply some washi tape. Just like so. Oh my goodness, I'm almost done. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, and I, I'll go back and clean this part up. She needs, this tab needs to fold back. So you don't need glue on all of the tabs. Okay, so I have a couple bowls. You know, first let me show you these dolls. Take a look at them. <laughs> oh my goodness, anything that takes me back to childhood, though I don't remember playing with paper dolls, I mean, oh my goodness. Okay, and then the little bowls, I guess... This is how Joe's would go on like that. And this is Jane's. Remember, and I know it's Jane's because of the, the purple tabs match the stand. Same color. And I don't necessarily know how, how I would put that in her hair. Um, so I won't add it. But take a look at my dolls, you guys. I love them. <laughs> and this is how the back looks. I can only imagine the little girls back in the day playing with their paper dolls, cutting out all of the clothing. <laughs> okay, so let's work with the stand. It has a slit right here, and there's a slit here. And put it in like that. Let's see if it'll stand up. Probably have to play with it a bit. Okay, well this is how it's supposed to work and I'm sure if I play around with it, I'll get it to stand. But what I may do is make these out of thicker cardstock to get, you know, let's see if I can do that right now. Alrighty, so I got Joe to stand. I took a thicker cardstock, but you want to see her. So let's lay them all down and you see here I didn't, I don't have the the outfit flush. Well, that can be remedied by taking time. But this is so cute. This was so fun. Oh my goodness. I will cut into another paper doll because I have two, if not three of those. <laughs> now these are perfect, you guys. They're the perfect size for, um, they might be two well, they'll fit your five by seven inch cards, but I'm going to use these in my personalized, my customized journals. Of course, you could use these in your art journals, in your books, or you can just play with them, right? We as adults, we color. We do a lot of things that we did growing up. Why not play with the vintage paper dolls? Now, if you play with vintage paper dolls, or if you have a story to share about playing with dolls growing up, maybe your favorite doll, leave a comment in this video. If you have been inspired to play with just any paper dolls, why not like this video? Give me a big thumbs up. Also subscribe because I got a lot of different other things coming your way. Well, I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.